Thank you, Dr. Williamson. Uh, the floor is now open for questions. Uh, uh, kindly introduce your, uh, um, your, yourself and state your organization. Question, the gentleman. Um, good afternoon, Professor. Hi. Um, an AIM student of for development programs. Uh -huh. um, there's uh, a lot of my classmates here. Um, so um, now I think your research is a kind of development economy. And now we are also learning development economy. Um, but I find your, uh, your lecture is about 200 years ago and to 50 years ago. Um, as a student, we tend to think about how to apply your lecture into practice. But I think it's still very difficult for us to use your lecture to explain some current um, or deal with the current development issues. So could you give me some simple Great example? Great question. The question is, why should I pay attention to this long-term <laughs> historical <laughs> stuff? <anyway? laughs> why can't you use the same uh, sources methodology and decomposing sources and apply it to the Philippines over the past 10 years? Why can't you do that? Of course you can do that. Uh, you face the same problems in collecting the data, probably not as big as I face, actually, for doing this. So uh, you could offer explanations for, uh, number one, why the Philippines is doing badly in some export sectors that you would have thought they would do better. Um, uh, and you could begin to decompose it. Is it external price behavior that explains it? Is it the minimum wage that's too high? Uh, that explains it by pushing up wage costs. You can go down that whole agenda that I've gone down uh, to make that assessment. Uh, you can also look at a period of uh, quite, quite impressive industrialization uh, before you were born, uh, 1950 to 1975, and make the same assessments uh, uh, looking at that period. Um, so I, first of all, you can use the same methodology and apply it to the present. And it's interesting to do that because when you look at the present, uh, you think everything around you is novel. Uh, and if you look backwards a ways, you will begin to see some repetition uh, of mistakes in policy, uh, of the impact of world market uh, forces, so that you, you might actually make you uh, better equipped to deal with those in the future. What do you think is going to be the impact of a commodity price boom, uh, which is certainly going to happen, uh, on the Philippines uh, over the next 15 or 20 years? We should have the answers to those questions. We should have them right on the tip of our tongues in terms of what the impact is going to be. But I'll bet you don't. Uh, but it, this ought to motivate uh, you know, some kind of thinking about the present and how it compares with uh, this past experience. So. Um, uh, I understand your impatience, <laughs> but this is what I do, and so you're going to have to listen to it. Uh, but, I, but it has, uh, it does have very easy uh, modern applications. I hope you're persuaded by that answer. But I can't tell you the answers. You have to go get them. You have to go apply, apply them okay. yourself.